Today on Bonifab Custom, we're gonna build one of these. And we're gonna show you how. So before we start fabricating, I need to make some drawings of what the dimensions are and what it's gonna look like. So let's do that. So if we look at the drawing, you notice that the ribbon burner, the refractory itself is tapered and also the housing is tapered. Now the reason for the refractory being tapered is for two reasons. We can take it out very easily out of the mold after we cast it and we're going to make a template for this as we make our forge and put our refractory in our forge, we're going to put this template inside. So after it's um, cured, we can take out the template and this ribbon burner will fit in tightly on those tapers. So now that we have our sides sheared up and the top of our box punched, bent, and sheared, it's time to weld them together. Now, the basic dimensions of this part is 10 inches by four inches high. And this hole is about an inch and a half in diameter. After we weld this all together, we're gonna add one crucial part. It's this part here. It's expanded metal, half inch expanded. It's stainless steel because that's what I had available, but it doesn't necessarily have to be stainless. Now this part mounts inside the box. It's gonna sit there a little bit on an angle. I'm gonna weld it inside the sides of the uh, bent box here and they're gonna stick out just a little bit. And that part there is gonna help this box mount into the refractory cement when we have it all welded together and when we pour the cement. It also acts as a diffuser. So as the gas and air come into this hole here, it's gonna mix it around a little bit and just makes for a better burn. we have our burner top all welded up I added a couple of flanges on here and that's gonna help as I place this into the mold for the refractory to kind of keep it at a certain level now the mold I made a quite a while back it's basically 12 inches by about two and three quarter inches wide and about four inches deep now you'll see on the bottom of it, I have these holes going through. They are quarter inch diameter holes. The crayons that we're using are 5 16 in diameter. So what happens is I pour a little bit of hot wax on the bottom. And as this solidifies, or when it solidifies, I actually take the mold and drill through those quarter inch diameter holes through the wax. And then from the top side, I'll use a 5 16 drill and drill in until it touches that bottom plate. What happens is 
the crayons sit in very tightly into that wax and stay upright. So then when we pour our refractory cement, it doesn't move around. And then as it starts to solidify, we place the top of our burner right in until it touches those flanges so we know we're at the right height. And after that's done, we can pull out the burner from the mold. So for the gas inlet part, we're going to be using two and a half inch and inch and three quarter diameter tubing. We're going to make a little tapered flange for it. We're going to make a flange that holds our adjusting screws. It is approximately 12 and a half inches long. So let's get into making that. Now that both parts are welded and the refractory is cured, we're gonna weld the two together. So now that we have both parts welded together, we're gonna make our gas fitting. And the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna use a half inch 13 socket head cap screw. And I'm gonna drill a hole all the way through 200 thou. Then I'm going to tap for a MIG tip, um, an O35. And I'm going to cut off the head and then create a barb on the lathe. Now that we made our gas fitting, we have our barbed end, our through hole, about 200 thou. And then our tapped hole for our modified MIG tip. You can see I shortened the O35 MIG tip. Goes right into the end here, like that. And I cut out this small piece of 3 16 flat stock and drilled and tapped a half inch 13 hole. 
And this is gonna be our air regulation uh, washer. And then I bent up some 3 16 by one inch flat stock. So it's going to hold our valve on there, on the top of this uh, burner, just like that. And we're gonna weld that on top. So the ribbon burner is completely welded. Let's give it some high temp paint and put a hose on it for some gas and a regulator and let's test it out. Thank you everyone for watching Bonifab Custom. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Ribbon Burner. Thank you for all your support with the channel. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And thank you very much.